All right, let's try some more examples of um, interval notation and solving inequalities. So let's say I have a problem where I have negative or 7x minus 2 times x minus 4, and that's going to be less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, now we have a less than or equal to symbol, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and combine, do what I just did before. So I'm going to distribute that negative 2, so this can become 7x minus 2x. Negative times a negative become a positive, because negative 2 times negative 4 will give me positive 8. Less than or equal to negative 2. Combine like terms, this is going to become 5x plus 8, less than or equal to negative 2. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. That's going to give me 5x is less than or equal to negative 10. Divide by 5, divide by 5. That's going to give me x is less than or equal to negative 2. All right, so now we're going to graph this. <clears throat> I got negative 2, negative 1, and negative 3. Now, this is a closed circle, right? So that is included. Negative 2 is included in our range, in the list or range for x. So x can be, it can't be negative 1, because that would be to the right of negative 2, right? So we're talking about going this direction in terms of our inequality. So we're talking about going to the left, right? So if I look at this, negative 1 won't be included, neither will negative 1.9. But, and, not, and negative 2 will be included, and negative 2.1, negative 2.5, negative 3, all the way to negative infinity. So I'm going to write my interval notation. This is going to be negative infinity to negative 2. Since negative 2 is included, we're going to use our bracket symbol, okay? So this would be the interval notation. When we're including, so when our symbol is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. All right, let's do some more examples. Um, in fact, I will give you some more examples and give you the answer key and I would like you to try them on your own. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to um, Hold on, let me see if I can find a harder one. Eh, now they're all pretty easy. Um, okay, so the next video I'm going to go over compound inequalities, and I think that's going to be a little bit more challenging. All right, see you then.